Hi folks, Max from Epic4GTouchroot.com. So I've got a quick ROM overview of Touch Spy S4. Um, this is ROM for your Epic 4G Touch. And uh, sorry, I haven't been updating my site. I've been a little bit busy, um, and also I let my mom borrow it because you know she doesn't have internet at her house. So I let her use my phone and Tether. What I do is set up Tether on my Epic 4G. And I set up a repeater using one of those old Linksys uh, routers. And then I basically um, use the signal of the Epic 4G Tether um, to all over the house. In her house, she gets pretty good 4G WiMAX signals. Um, let's go on to the ROM overview here. This is the Touch by S4 uh, ROM. It has a bunch of S4 system sounds, as you can kind of hear here. There you go. This, that's all from S4. And also S4 themed calculator. Um, so that's S4 theme calculator, uh, S4 wallpaper. Um, there's like there's like a couple wallpapers. Um, so that's an S4 wallpaper. Uh, other than that, it's pretty cool ROM. This one has a hotspot hacked, um, so you should be able to uh, run that off the bat without doing anything. That is nice. All uh, right, and also it has ad blocking, so it will block any of your uh, your ads there. I'll just leave that on just uh, for view. One of the cool things about this ROM, oh, you can see the 4G LTE signal there. That's actually 4G WiMAX. Don't think you're gonna get 4G LTE. Um, so that's kind of cool. The coolest thing about this ROM is the two cameras. You get the regular Epic 4G Touch camera uh, working fine. And you get Photosphere uh, Android 4.2 camera. This one also camera working just fine. Now with the videos, you're gonna have problems, um, so don't use the video option. But Photosphere works just fine. And let me show you some of the photos. Well, let me show you one photo I took earlier uh, using. So you get also the 4.2 gallery here, which is what it is. And uh, where is it? Um, there we go. So there we go. You can do Photosphere. I didn't do it right. I did it real quick, but just in front of my thing there. Um, so that's kind of cool. And did I mention everything? Um, S4 wallpaper, S4 launch icons. Um, you know, a lot of the icons for from the S4, and also gallery here, and uh, Note 2 gallery here. Very nice. Or S4 gallery. Same thing. Um, very nice, and also this ROM does come with quick panel settings. You can change your toggles up here easily using uh, adding more buttons here. Change the order here if you want GPS first. Boom! It's or, sorry, GPS first. Oh, it's not changing for some reason. What happens? All right, I don't know why it's not changing, but it should change eventually. Um, let me show you some other cool features. The coolest feature, the coolest, coolest feature is the three minute settings. Um, you can do center clock if you don't want to do center clock. Let me clear, it kind of overlaps if you have a lot of notifications. Not a huge deal. Status bar, image, all of this stuff. Um, battery type, this is cool. Let me see if they have, eh, let me see. White circle dot it, uh, lock button, toggle mod. Oh, there we go. That's where it was, sorry. Um, you will need the toggle mod. Yeah, there we go. Now it's changing. Now you should be able to go to quick settings here and change the the order here. So put GPS first. Boom. There we go. And also for recent, you got kind of the sense or the palm pre um, lateral horizontal way of doing it. So that's kind of cool. Panel button, carrier text. So very nice ink effects here. You can choose uh, your ink effects here. I've got ink effects enabled. And also you can get a USB lock screen if you want. Uh, launcher, rotation, wallpaper, scrolling. Those are very nice. You can rotate your launcher. Um, and also for kernel, it comes with agate kernel. Let me show you settings about phone and about device. Uh, agate kernel. Very nice kernel, it runs super fast. Um, I suggest getting set CPU and overclocking to about 1.4 gigahertz for optimal performance. Actually, it runs just fine at stock 1.2.
or if you want you can even go 1.6 gigahertz but that's gonna probably give you poor battery life so I don't recommend that but very nice very smooth I really like this ROM um, there's no multi view multi window enable for this phone yet but hopefully it's coming soon but do check out this ROM very fast very nice um, I love this ROM for your epic 4G touch and do let me know what you think and as always, if you have an Epic 4G Touch, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, epic4gtouchroot.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week, tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button down there. And I'll see you guys soon. And don't forget to tell me any cool ROMs you've been running that um, I should check out also. I do love checking out new ROMs. Anyway, thanks, you guys. See you all later. Stay high on Android.